Thank you. Diamonds are gems of deep carbon, and they're little snapshots that actually tell us about big processes happening deep in the Earth. Now, most of the diamonds that we mine, they come from the mantle, typically from the oldest and thickest parts of continents, as deep as 200 kilometers. Diamonds we see at surface have been swept up in special volcanic eruptions called kimberlites. So they've traveled a tremendous vertical distance from a place that's otherwise completely inaccessible to us. And these diamonds often have inclusions, typically pieces of other minerals trapped inside the diamond as it grew. The inclusions are a snapshot of the Earth's mantle, frozen in time, a bit like insects trapped in amber. Very rarely, there are even diamonds that crystallize below the continental plates. These are called super deep diamonds, and they're by far the deepest, well-preserved physical samples we can hold in our hand. And from my work in the past few years, it turns out some of the biggest, most dazzling diamonds out there in the hands of celebrities and royalty actually come from these most extreme depths. In the past few years, I've had the opportunity to selectively examine diamonds passing through the Gemological Institute of America for grading purposes. And effectively, this is the power to access millions of diamonds. And I've had the chance to carefully examine diamonds that no researcher would otherwise get to see. I began targeting large and highly pure diamonds, ones with characteristics just like the famous Cullinan diamond. Now, these diamonds form a family. They have a, a set of characteristics that sort of distinguish them from other kinds of diamonds. And for years, they've remained a geological oddity. They're called clipper diamonds. It turns out these are actually super deep diamonds. They contain mineral inclusions that we know from experiments could only have formed at extreme depths, overlapping the mantle transition zone. And that's really surprising, but what's more significant is the fact that these diamonds often contain these really bizarre metallic inclusions, rich in iron and nickel. And scientists have predicted that the rocks of the deeper mantle should contain a little bit of metallic iron based on theory and experiments. Now these diamonds give us some physical evidence that the rocks down there really do have a bit of metallic iron. And it's an important factor for the chemical and physical behavior of the Earth through geologic time. Another odd variety of diamond, blue diamonds, like the Hope right here in DC. Now, the color comes from atoms of boron substituting into the crystal lattice. Boron is an element that's very strongly enriched at the surface of the Earth, but down in the mantle where diamonds grow, there's very little boron. So the boron that characterizes these diamonds is unexpected and unusual. How or where these diamonds form had long remained a mystery. Surprisingly, once again, the inclusions I encountered in diamonds like this are examples of extremely high pressure minerals. And these two are super deep diamonds. Many of these diamonds actually have inclusions that show us these diamonds formed in the presence of ancient ocean plates that would have been carried down to the lower mantle by the conveyor belt-like action of subduction. And this connection suggests that the boron that gives this blue color could also have been carried down from the surface of the Earth. Rocks that used to be part of the ocean floor would have absorbed a lot of boron in water-bearing minerals. Our idea is that some of this boron is subducted hand in hand with water bearing minerals down to the lower mantle where these blue diamonds crystallize. So blue diamonds hint at a major pathway by which crustal elements and perhaps even water can be carried down deep into the earth. And that's an important observation for our understanding of mantle geochemistry and plate tectonic processes. We've learned now that super deep diamonds are much more prevalent and contain a wider breadth of information than we ever thought, results that have snagged the cover of science and nature. Many of the world's
biggest and most expensive diamonds are actually some of the deepest diamonds we know of, making them not only remarkable gems of deep carbon, but invaluable physical samples of our Earth. There's simply no other way to access this information from the interior of our planet. Thank you. <laughs>